For my final project, I chose the relation of memes and anthropology. Um, the topics I covered in this presentation will be joking relationships, which was uh, studied by Radcliffe Brown, the theory of clean versus dirty, uh, discovered by Mary Douglas, and then the concept of globalization uh, by Steger. Um, the history of the first meme is thought to be this picture from 1921. Um, it says how you think you look when a flashlight is taken versus how you really look. Um, this picture, it, even though it's not really thought of as a meme, it is thought of as what could have been the first one. Um, here, there are a lot of familiar memes that are really popular on the internet right now that are really relatable to a lot of people and spread between different cultures and different um, cultures have different memes that they like to use. Um, first, from the perspective of joking relationships, um, on social media, like a lot of people will post things that are like maybe thought of as like hate comments. Um, however, they could be also thought of in a way of joking relationships as um, a big company who is has a lot of power and isn't thought of as a real person can have a like sassy joking answer to someone else who maybe it could be a regular person or like in the example right here with um, Taco Bell and Old Spice having a um, feud on Twitter. Um, you can also see like there's celebrity um, siblings like Cole Sprouse and Dylan Sprouse ta talking about like shows that they were on as a kid and making fun of it. It um, allows you to like see different relationships um, also, politically, it gives people like a chance to make fun of people that are higher in power, something that they don't like, and it um, can be thought of so that um, oh, as a way to kind of lower how much power a person in political power can have. Um, next we have globalization. For this, I specifically use the Pepe the Frog meme that is really big here in Hong Kong, especially with the protests. This cartoon was actually originally drawn by this guy, Matt Fury, who is a American guy from Ohio, and he just drew the Pepe cartoon just for a comic strip that he originally posted on MySpace in 2004. However, uh, this drawing has reached global uh, standards by like becoming a symbol for the protests here in Hong Kong and being a political symbol. And then on the right, as we can see, the Pepe meme was also used in the alt-right in the U.S. as a way to um, a way to support Donald Trump and the whole "Make America Great Again" uh, campaign, it was determined as an anti-Semitic symbol in the U.S. And um, even though it's thought of there as this um, this symbol of hate over here, it's thought of as a symbol of freedom. And then here we have the clean versus dirty. Um, a lot of people make memes on uh, on social media that's just social commentary. Um, they kind of make fun of this theory that's the clean versus dirty theory. Um, for example, these first three frames are here um, are making fun of something that you would never think to do in real life, but then when you see it on social media, it's thought of as funny because it's so out of place. Like in this specific one on the left, it's saying like, 
I left you a surprise on your pillow and then the person says, OMG, no way, I love you so much. And then it's just pasta laying on their pillow, which would never happen in the real world, but in, um, but when it's seen in just like a picture like this, it's thought of as like, as funny to the person because it's so wrong. And then on the right, there's another meme that also is the same concept. It just says, hey, what's up? Sorry, my car's a mess. You can just throw that stuff in the back. And it's also just pasta sitting on someone's car seat looking like it's ready to be eaten, which is just wrong in society. <laughs> And then for the conclusion, um, all of the Pepe memes were really, um, are really influential here and influential in the US that it like shows how much of like a cultural impact that like memes can have in the world. Um, it's also just a way of like, of uh, like comic relief that people like to use. You can make fun of things that you know that in your culture are funny, but like, um, wouldn't be typically thought of as funny unless you see it out of place on the internet, like you can see here. Thank you.